So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You were guaranteed a cheque for £32,000. I can now give you a cheque for £64,000. Now, this next question is number 12 of 15. It's worth £125,000. Now, you're guaranteed to walk away with at least £32,000. That's safe. You could leave now, though, with the £64,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this next question. Take your time. You might as well have a look at it. You are just four questions away from £1 million. Here it comes. It's worth one. Hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. What's the name for the chamber of the lighthouse that houses the light? Lantern, mantle, torch, reflector. OK, right, this is your lifeline. You've made a choice to ask the audience. Audience, if you would, please, put your fingers on your keypads. Let's try and help out. Or vote now. Oh, look at that. That's almost too close to call. Now, take your time on this one. It's for a big, big £125,000 check. Serious money. So you think it's A? Oh, you were doing so well. But now you've done even better. You've just won £125,000. Now, you don't have to play this next question. It's entirely up to you. You've got £125,000 at this moment. But if you can give me the right answer, it's worth a quarter of a million. Take your time. You've got £125,000 at this moment, but it's worth a quarter of a million. Here it comes. Morel is a type of which food item? Onion, garlic, mushroom, pepper. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You had £125,000 in your hand. You didn't have to play that last question. You could have walked away. You've now got a quarter of a million pounds. Right, at this point, you are just two questions away from one million pounds. If you do give me a correct answer to the next question, you win £500,000. But if you give me a wrong answer, you lose £218,000. It's question number 14 of 15. Take as much time as you need. Have a good look at it. Good luck. Woodruff is the name of a what? Herb, bird, fungus, fern. You don't have to answer this, but 
At this point, you are just two correct answers away from one million pounds. Take as long as you need at this moment. This is for half a million pounds. You've got 250,000 pounds at this moment. You could play for 500,000 pounds, but a wrong answer would cost you 218,000 pounds. That's an awful lot of money to lose. Right, let's try and help by narrowing the choice down for you. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, that's left you with A or B to choose from. So you think it's A? You had a quarter of a million pounds. You could have walked away, you decided to play. If you're wrong, you lose 218,000 pounds of that money. You're not wrong, you've just won half a million pounds. Well, you're doing brilliantly, fantastic, half a million pounds. Now, there's a cheque waiting here with your name on it for 500,000 pounds. But we don't want to give you that. We'd love to give you the next one, the big one. You are just one right answer away from a million pounds. Now, have a look at it. At this moment, you can leave here quite happily with 500,000 pounds. But the next question, the final question, is worth one million pounds. This is it. What nationality was the architect Alvar Alto? Icelandic. Swedish. Norwegian. Finnish. I can't believe how tense this is becoming. Please take your time. I just remind you again, you are putting an awful lot of money at risk if you do choose to play this question. 468 thousand pounds to be precise you don't have to play this question you can walk away but it is for one million pounds you're going for D Oh, you have been so brave going for all 15 questions, but I'm afraid it's correct answers that count. And that answer is correct. You've done it. You have won a million pounds. Congratulations. One million pounds. 15 correct answers. Brilliant. Okie dokie, here we go again with Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? 